Well, as if you needed any more clarification, any more proof about Disney's plans for your kids, I mean, what better than to have actual leaked video of a high-profile meeting? We will get into all the details of this and much more, so stick with me, guys. First, if you could, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, or the glasses because I'm blind. Also, guys, I remind you, if you were able to make a generous donation here to my ministry to help support, I would greatly appreciate that. I am demonetized on YT. They don't support me, but if you guys enjoy my daily content, talking about end-time Bible prophecy headlines, and you can help support, you could do that on PayPal. The link is down below. Or you can sign up on to Patreon. When you do that, you get access to my bonus content. Plus, I include the links to the YT videos there. That is so you get alerted every time new content arrives. People have been telling me, I don't ever get your alerts anymore. Yeah, the suppression is getting worse. So if you sign up on Patreon, you will know every time I have new content coming out. So I encourage you, sign up there. Plus, it helps the ministry. You could also send me direct messages. And then I am also on Rumble. These videos go up there. That's kind of a backup in case I get the boot out of YT. But some people prefer Rumble over YT. So if that's you, check it out. Give me a sub. All the links down below. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity. Greatly appreciated. Now, this has been all over the news. It's been, you know, just everywhere. Florida and the parental rights bill that Governor Ron DeSantis signed into law, which now limits the amount of uh, rainbow teachings, we'll call it, that can be taught in schools up till about the third grade. Now, keep in mind, this is not an outright ban of being able to bring this up in the classroom. The only thing that they did was really try and eliminate it from the lower grades with the younger kids. But that was enough to just set off a complete just firestorm of aggression and, and, and everybody just raging about this and saying that Florida was anti-G and anti-G here and anti-G here. I mean, they, they called it the don't say G bill for crying out loud. You know what I mean by G? And it, you really see this because when I saw all this going on, I said to myself, look, this is the reaction that you would expect. From who? None other than the devil himself. Why? Because these are people who are trying to defend God's word. Trying to defend his scripture. And he doesn't like that. And so for the devil and for those that follow him and are a part of this world and do not want anything to do with the Lord... Of course, they are going to rage and they are going to go out of control. That's what we've seen. Disney, one of the biggest ones to try and combat this, put out all sorts of statements from the, the president, the CEO, everybody, saying that they stand with people who are G, who are L, who are B, who are T, and every other letter in the alphabet. And I said, what does this have to do with your employees at Disney? This is the schools we're talking about, parents' rights. In education, a parental rights bill. But who cares, right? This just triggered Disney so much to the point where they were completely hell-bent on trying to stop this or boycott or do whatever that they could. Well, we got leaked videos that came out. This was a all-hands-on-deck meeting that Disney held and, you know, over the whole Florida thing, the whole bill. And wow, very interesting. In fact, three separate clips, which I will include for you here in the description of this video. You can check them out there. They're brief. But let's just go over them for a second. One executive producer in particular talked about the fact that she was honored that Disney would give her the green light to pretty much, and she this, these were her words. She says, my not-so-secret G agenda to go around basically... Any chance I got implementing the rainbow here, the rainbow here with this character, having these two characters kiss, all of this, she's like, it was like, I just had a license to do whatever I want. They didn't stop me. She said at first that she thought that she would get some resistance, but she was pleasantly surprised that Disney was just okay with this. Just, hey, you do your thing. She's, you know, executive producer of several different Disney shows, uh, also for Disney Plus, the streaming site. I mean, she was all excited about this. And then there was Disney's corporate president in the other video that talked about the fact that, well, 
she has two children who are of the rainbow. One of them being a tea child and the other one being a, a pan child. <laughs> and that she believed that it was imperative that Disney have now many, many different characters going in the future who are part of the rainbow. And, and, and just talked about not going in reverse. Talked about how we need to go forward. We can't allow people to stop progress here. Even though God's word is the same yesterday, today, and forever, right? But we can't stop progress. What that means is don't try and stop Satan's agenda. That's really what that means. This brings us all to the third video, which was Disney's diversity and inclusion expert talking about the fact that they have now eliminated, and I knew about this a little bit before, but this was just, I, I guess, addressed uh, formally to hear everybody in the meeting to kind of go along with this whole thing, that they would no longer be addressing the park goers as ladies and gentlemen, or boys and girls, because you see, they don't want to, you know, specify gender. That's offensive. So they're not using that anymore. Now, instead, they're saying, hey, everyone, instead of saying, you know, ladies and gentlemen, you know, you know, children of all ages, all, now they're saying like dreamers of all ages and all this, you know, they have a whole new script for this where there is no, absolutely no identification in gender whatsoever. And so they bragged about that and people were clapping and they're very happy. You know, Again, it is, this won't come as a huge surprise, I know, to many of you, because you, you see that. I mean, we've already seen in the Disney shows that they've been implementing this. But, you no, know, this is probably one of the first times that we've seen these sort of videos come out uh, in, inside of a meeting, and they're, you know, bragging about this. I mean, they make no—let me say this. I'm all over the place, I know. This has me kind of steamed up, and i got to be very careful with the words that I use here uh, for this platform that I'm on, as you guys know. But— they're unrepentant in this, okay? If, you, if you're praying for Disney to turn from this sort of a uh, um, an agenda, a, a lifestyle, whatever you want to call it, they're not going to know that they have already sold out. At the same time, now this is Disney as a corporation. When I'm listening to these people in these videos, and you might get the gist of this as well, I feel sad for them. You know, and it upsets me. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm angry about it. You know, I've I've been doing this now for f over five and a half years, and so I <laughs> I have reported on topics that I, you know, such things that I can't even talk about anymore on YT because uh, it'll just get me struck and take me down because uh, things have changed so much over the years. So I've reported on it all, uh, but I'm at this point where I feel sad for these people. You know, I hear them talk because these are people that God loves. He still loves these people, and I know. Even for someone like me, yeah, I can be a little over the top sometimes, a little brash. But, um, you know, he does love these people. And he's got plans for all of our lives. It includes all these people who work for Disney. You know, he called them all before they were even born. He knew them before they were even born. And the plan that he had for them is not the plan that they are living out today. He called them to have a life of servitude unto him. Unfortunately, they chose the wrong path. You can only hope and pray that some of these individuals will turn and go back to God. And again, I'm not talking about Disney as, you know, the corporation because they've already sold out. I don't, I think it's too late for them. But hopefully some of the employees that work there uh, will come to a saving knowledge of Christ. Because as we continue to go on here in the last days, this is something that's going to be occurring even more. Uh, the gas pedal is, is, is you know, it, they got their foot firmly on it right now. and They have no plans to slow down. But that's because you have to understand that the enemy, Satan, he has but a short time left to cause as much chaos as he can here in the last days because he knows ultimately where his final destination is, Right. He's going to be locked away in the pit for all of eternity. So he knows I better go out here and, and, and really rush this all through. I have to. 
I got to take people with me. So that's why you're seeing all this happen right now. You're going to see a culture that will continue to rise against God, but they're going to call it good. As the Bible talks about, they would call evil good and good evil. That's what we're seeing right now. Who's being demonized right now? Florida legislature, Governor Ron DeSantis, okay, Christians, that they're evil, right, for doing this, that this is hurting ch our children, which it's not. And the other side of it, you're hearing people like Disney say, no, no, this is a good thing. Children should be allowed to decide who they are. No. But they call it good because that's what the devil does. He dresses it up real nice, right? Puts a bow on it, makes it seem like, oh, it's about being inclusive and loving. But the problem is he has twisted the word love. Love is not what he says it is. With love comes correction. With love comes conviction, repentance. Ah, but the devil won't tell you that. No, 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 no. He'll tell you that everything's all good. You can do whatever you want. There's no right. There's no wrong. You do what makes you feel good. People should all be accepted. Except he doesn't tell you that he's calling for people to accept your sin. Which the Bible will not tolerate. And you can't enter into the kingdom of heaven if you're going to be living a lifestyle like that. Apart from Christ. Willingly. People who are saved are still going to sin. They're going to slip up, but they repent. They don't actively live in open rebellion to God. Like people from Disney do. That's what you got to remember. So again, I will put the clips to these videos below and you guys can check them out and let me know your thoughts. Uh, if you can even leave a comment on the YT version of this video. Again, I'll have this on Rumble as well. Uh, you might be blocked. Uh, just keep in mind from leaving comments on the YT video. So if that's happening... I suggest you go to Rumble uh, to leave your thoughts over there or on my Patreon. But we never want to end any video here without giving people the opportunity to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior, just like I was talking about, because we are in the last days and he's coming soon. The question is, are you ready to meet him? If you have not yet accepted Christ, I want to lead you in this prayer right now. This is a prayer you can do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are, but here's the good news. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid that cost, but you do have a part to play. And that is that you have to repent of that sin. I talked about that here a little while ago. But repent doesn't just simply mean to say you're sorry. You have to actively turn from sin which I kind of alluded to earlier as well. Lifestyles, habits, whatever it is in your life, if you're living in sort of an open rebellion towards God, you got to leave it behind, go before the Lord, humbly ask him to forgive you. If you do that, he'll wipe that sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. The Bible says that those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And if you do that, then you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I will have more. Like I mentioned, you guys can check out the clips to these videos down below. Also, let me know your thoughts. And don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk really soon.